Welcome back to Ozone at Home. In this video, I would like to talk about rectal insufflations, which are probably the second strongest application internally that you can use. Blood wash, which they do in clinic, where you need needles and syringes and vacuum pumps and all of that, is something that would be counted as 100% efficiency. Ozone rectally would be counted as 70 to 80%. So it's not far off and you don't need needles and it's very convenient and you can do it easily at home three times a week. Now, the concept is actually very important to understand. And this is a rule, the only rule that really applies. You don't want to use ozone when you have a full colon, when you haven't been to toilet yet. And that's pretty simple. It kills off bacteria and all the other pathogens in the stool instead of going into the body. So the reaction would be lost and that's what we don't want. So only use rectal insufflation when you had a big bowel movement or when you had an enema before so that you can really see that your colon is clean. And then you would use this little bag, connect it with this adapter here to your ozone generator, open up the vial, the, the little clamp here all the way up so that it runs freely. And now you want to fill only 400 milliliters. You don't want the whole bag. So while filling, just press your finger here so that only the first and second compartment are filled. All right, now let's do this. We turn on the device so that as soon as oxygen comes through this hose, it will be automatically converted into ozone. And then we open up the bottle. We've set here to one quarter, which we know one quarter is 42 concentration, which is safe. You can start with one half and produce 23 concentration for a start just to be certain that it doesn't cause a burning sensation. And now I open up the bottle. You can see here on this indicator, the bottle is brand new, it's all full. And now I hold my finger here. Now you can already see it starts to pump up this first and second chamber. The third one is still flat. And I hope you can see it here in the image. It really builds a nice big bubble that you would fill all the way. Now there is one trick. You can close the bottle already now because there is so much pressure still in the pump that it will still fill for quite a while and you don't want to release the ozone into your room, into your uh, environment. You can see it's pumping up nicely. It still does. And we just keep it until it runs out of steam and those two chambers are full. See that? It's nice and compact and that's about 400 milliliters inflated ozone. Now for those of you who consider to give that to a friend, take home and do ozone insufflation at home, that works. Now let me just, this is closed. We turn off the device and now we close the clamp and you can see that just by rolling it down. That's it. Now you can let go and you can, you know, spread it out evenly into the whole bag and you can see it's nicely filled with ozone. Now you would open up here your valve and that's it. Now that's all you need to do. You can unplug it and put that to the side. Okay. Now this ozone bag would be connected to one of your uh, catheters. And don't worry, they are that long, but you don't need to insert them all the way. About three inches. That's all that is required. And that's plenty to lead in. They are nice and round and soft at the top. And all you need to do is unscrew the little white cap and connect those two. Now that's it. Now you take this into the bathroom, squat down, Lay down, sit down, however you want to do it, and then insert three inches into your rectum. Then open up, untangle it here, then open up this little valve and start rolling up your bag 
very nicely from the top. You can just squeeze until it gets easier. And then you just start rolling it up all the way down until everything is in your colon. Now that feels a little bit like, you know, a big fart, something that you have to hold. And I recommend after that, you sit down on the couch or on a chair and hold it for as long as you can. It takes a little while to be absorbed through the mucous membrane into your bloodstream from where it then travels to the uh, liver. And that's where you want as much as you can. So take your time, fill in the treatment, do an enema before, then fill in the ozone and hold it as long as you can. And then just go out the door and you can let go a big wind and that's it. That's the whole treatment. Safe, secure, sound. And what it does is very simple. It kills off in the colon and in your bloodstream, floating cancer stem cells, virus, bacteria, mold, yeast, and uh, bacteria. And those will then travel through the bloodstream. Now that's kind of like a vaccination. The vaccination that your immune system needs to recognize, oh, this is a cell that needs to be addressed. So they will use those dead cells as a uh, catalyst to deal with the disease that you have in your body. So it's like a vaccination that you regularly do. And the result is that you have more oxygen in your blood and in your system, which is then available to the mitochondria. And I recommend you watch the two videos below where Dr. Rao and Dr. Contreras show exactly what um, kind of treatment it is. It's an oxidative treatment and how it works in your system. All right. And now let's go to the next video where we look at infections in your ear and then nasal infections.